Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm from the Management Study Guide's content team. In this course, we will talk about the subtle psychology of sales in detail. Let's review the course objectives. List the psychology principles to use in sales. Explain the principle of reciprocation. Explain the principle of possession. Explain the principle of group dynamics. Explain the principle of chunking. Explain the principle of baseline. Explain the principle of allurement. Of allurement. Explain the principle of illusion. Explain the principle of association. Explain the principle of overview. Explain the principle of shortage. Describe the psychological barriers for salespeople. Kevin Walker has just started his career as a salesman at Metropolis, a leading garment store. Metropolis sells all kinds of clothes for different customers, such as men, women, kids, etc. It also houses different clothing lines catering to people from all walks of life, such as formal wear, casual wear, sports wear, swimming wear, etc. Kevin has been placed at the counter for casual wear with his buddy, Sam, a fellow salesman. Sam has been working at Metropolis for the past five years and is one of the top salesmen at Metropolis. Within a month of working, Kevin finds that he's unable to make any great sales numbers. He finds it extremely hard to convince people to buy any of the items at his counter. Even when people show interest for the clothes at his counter, they don't buy much. Sam, on the other hand, is a pro at sales and is an expert salesperson. He's able to sell not only one, but multiple items and even auxiliary items to his customers. Let's look at a conversation between Kevin and Sam one day on a coffee break. How do you make so many sales, man? It's simple. How? Remember that your customers are also normal human beings, just like you and me. What does that even mean? It means that they too have a mindset similar to all humans. They like to be appreciated by others, like to be superior to others around them. They compare themselves to others, and the most important thing of all for us salesmen is that they behave in certain ways when being influenced in the right way. That is exactly that you need to learn. The psychology of selling to people. Really? I thought selling was just about persuading the other person to buy. Persuasion is extremely important in sales, but how would you persuade if you don't understand what's going on in their minds? Or what are the different things that could impact and drive a person to buy from you? Wow, I never thought about sales this way. That's the reason some people struggle at sales while few others are able to ace it. Sales is all about connecting with your customers at an emotional level by understanding their psyche. You can see how Sam explains to Kevin that sales is intricately correlated with the psychology of your customer. Therefore, it's extremely important to understand the psychology that goes behind making each and every one of your sales. Let's learn about the subtle psychology of sales in further detail.